In John 17, um, Jesus is reaching the end of his earthly life and earthly ministry. And as his time is drawing to a close, the people that are weighing most on his heart are his disciples. Those men who Jesus has walked life with over the past three years. He knew that their time together was almost over and that the task they had before him to go and to make disciples of all nations was not an easy one. Um, and so Jesus in this intimate moment begins to pray for them. He brings them before the Father and asks for strength, and for protection, and for their ongoing spiritual growth and sanctification even after he leaves. Then midway through his prayer, Jesus turns his focus away from these um, people that he loves and cares about and begins to pray instead for their personal ministry, that the struggles that they endure and the focus of their life would ultimately point others toward eternity. And as we move toward this Easter season, the same prayer is being prayed over you. Who are the people that God has purposefully placed in your life so they can hear the message of hope and salvation that is only found in Christ. Whether it is in your school or your workplace, um, with friends or family, make no mistake, you and they are not there by accident. Peter tells us, but honor the Messiah as Lord in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. So during this Easter season, are you gonna live a life and proclaim a message that makes known the hope that is in you, the hope that can only be found in King Jesus. In John 17, uh, 20 through 21, it says, I pray not only for these, but also for those who believe in me through their message. May they all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I am in you.